Yesterday, I ended the broadcast go on trash taste. Uh, I ended the broadcast at the dog cafe. A dog made fun of me and didn't want me to pet him, which was f***ed up, in my opinion. That made me feel very bad, okay? Only to be saved by another dog. When I was sitting there, legitimately upset. Like, actually, straight up sad. None of, none of the dogs are, like, trying to hang out with me. And it made me very sad, okay? And I'm sitting there by myself, I'm super like, sad. I'm sitting in here by myself, like the, the not-so-cool kid. And then he just came. He just jumped over as soon as I said this shit sucks. None of them want to hang out with me. And I felt actually really, really sad. Dude, you can literally see the worker walk away after coaching him to go sit with you. Paid actor confirmed. Curved. Oh, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> Bro, this shit is so funny. Dude, look at this little shit. F you, man, you little fucking chicken nugget ass yourself bro and i'm so sad bro i was so sad you're not even i'm not even kidding like the fucking dog looked at me like said baka gaijin and walked away <laughs> i'm so you can see how sad i am like i wasn't acting I got so bummed out, dude. Uh, I got so bummed out. We went to the fucking dumbass dog petting center, dog cafe, and they only gave a fuck about me when I had like a like a thing of chicken. And the moment that the chicken was gone, none of these dogs wanted to be around me at all. <laughs> It's just, this is the perfect clip. Look. <laughs> Down to the fucking tiny ass Japanese slippers they made me wear. <laughs> I don't know why this clip is so funny, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ, he said. <laughs> My feelings were hurt. I know you were blowing out those slivers with each step. Yes. Didn't you say all dogs love me? Not little dogs. Sometimes little dogs don't love me. If you can't handle a dog not wanting you to pet him, you're going to hate the cat cafe. It's okay. It's up to the cats to, to make a decision on, on where our relationship is going to be in the future. Are you going to take the Shinkansen to Kyoto, Osaka? No. I'm going to Kobe tomorrow with Connor. I'm going to be on his live stream. And we're going to go to like these bars that are run by the women of Kobe. I mean, I hope I'm not like leaking it. But for that, I will be getting on a bullet train. Uh, I am so fucking excited. Anyway, speaking of Connor though. After the dog cafe was over, I went over to the Trash Taste podcast studio. And, um, you know, Saikuno was just finishing up. I housed an entire, I fucking faced an entire box of like Japanese snacks. They get like those Japanese snack packs, I guess, like as a sponsor. I was so hungry. I ate all of it. It was like the Sakura collection, which was mm, great. We did the podcast. I will tell you right now for all the fucking trash taste fans. Okay. This is going to be according to them. One of the most anime heavy episodes they've done in a very long time. Like, probably the most anime heavy episode they've done <laughs> since, like, their fifth episode. Okay? I'm not a weeb. I don't want you to think that I'm a weeb. Do not think that this is a safe space for you. I'm not a fucking weeb at all. Okay? I'm not. But we did spend one hour and, like, 35 minutes of the two-hour allotted time exclusively talking about anime like deep i brought talking points ahead of time i brought the smoke i brought hot takes okay i think i convinced them on aot being a mecha anime 
And I definitely convinced them on Oda being a leftist. And that, uh, you know, One Piece is, like, very political. Dinairu is a river in Japan. The weave allegation is sticking to you like Gorilla Group, bro. Wow, yeah. I gotta rewatch JoJo. It's been a long-ass time. You literally made a pot about anime, more about anime, biggest weeb literally and figuratively. I can't believe this dude's making me look below the surface of my Tony Tony Chopper Trafalgar Law love. Do you know when it airs? It's going to be a while until it airs. Like, I think the overall fandom of Trash Taste will appreciate it because, like, I vibed really well with the boys. Like, really, really well. And I think my haters will probably, like, cling on to it and try to make it seem, like, worse than it actually is. But, you know, they'll like it. I think they will enjoy the episode. It was, I had so much fun filming it. Didn't you say the same thing about when you did Flagrant and the comments destroyed you? Yeah, but Flagrant is like somewhat right-wing slanted comedy podcast, whereas Trash Taste is like all about anime. So when I talk about anime and decisively with a lot of passion, it'll make a lot of people overlook my political background. Oh boy, I'm sure the subreddit won't be a war zone at all. He's a streamer with very outspoken political views. What is this, 9-11? Not defending his words, just trying to put that in the context. So he hasn't been saying any pro versions ever blaming Ukraine or something? That's a relief. I don't know why so many people would be bringing up his take just before the invasion. I thought they must be referring to something worse. Only the Eastern European countries believe Russia would invade, so I wouldn't hold it against anyone who didn't. Even the Russian army didn't know they were invading. Damn, that's awesome. Someone is out there f***ing like, bro, they freaked out when they had Pokemon on. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see.